Welcome to Watson's Models. I was pretending like I was doing something. I really wasn't. I'm going to show you how I do road wheels on both the 16th scale tanks from Hang Long and others and regular 135th scale using this as my secret weapon. All right. I love this stuff. So I want to share it with you real quick. It shouldn't take long, but I'm going to demo how I get my road wheels to look weathered. And then we're going to go over to the bench and do a quick short tutorial that will probably be so basic for most of you. You'll be like, eh, this video sucks. I already, I already know that. But hey, some people, some people may not. So, all right, look, get you a small TV for your, uh, for your workshop. You got to watch war flicks, documentaries, the news, whatever. These TVs are cheap. Go get you one. Jeez. To start with, we will look at the Challenger here. Um, you know, these, these kits, they come already pre-assembled with the exception of a couple of small, you know, details like weapons and fire extinguish and stuff. And, you know, I, I like to sand down my little smoke grenade things and, and repaint them. You can see I still have some mold lines that I didn't touch up. Uh, I actually still have a lot of work to do on this particular vehicle, but, uh, you know, doing some research, figuring out what the bubble lights look like, what the fire extinguishers look like, um, and, uh, and just, you know, trying to bring out the depth in it all. And my secret weapon to all of that, like I mentioned, is the panel line accent color from Tamiya. They have a brown, a dark brown, flesh tones, black. I don't know if they have any other versions but the flesh tone works really nice on figures if you're an amateur figure painter which i am uh so i do cheat with cheat, cheat with these uh washes or these uh panel line accents so anyhow all right i just wanted to show you real quick the sprocket and the uh the road wheels here and you can see there's a little bit of shadow in there a little bit of depth and you know it didn't come that way in fact let me turn this tank around and show you how i got that effect Get to turn my baby around. Come on now. I got some antennae. All right, let's do some demo. Real quick before I show you the <clears throat> how I do this, the last of the decals came in for, for Tim's truck. All right, so we got this number assortment. Now I have everything I need to do all of the custom decals and bumper numbers and stuff for him. So watch out for that video that's coming tomorrow. Now let's get back to the, to the uh, road wheels. The road wheels are fun and cool. These kits, as you know, already come painted. And they have their little attempt of, uh, you know, pre-shadow work on there. And that's pretty much it. I mean, all of the recess lines inside these vehicles are the same color as the as as what they're painted so none of none of the highlights really pop um i definitely use a lot of this stuff on my vehicles and as i go to do the abrams and other vehicles that haven't been touched yet i'll demonstrate that but every nook and cranny okay and it might be excessive gets the old panel line accent treatment so I haven't done the, uh, the road wheels yet. Um, so this is a good demonstration to show you how I do that. And uh, we'll start with the sprocket back here. Now, this stuff is very fluid, right? I mean, it's, it's very fast. So we're just gonna not use a full gulp of it because you'll notice as we're coming, oops, excuse me, as we're coming down, it's gonna build up on the bottom here. All right, because that little tube fills up. But I am just going to go in here and put some drops in there and let the capillary action do its thing. And I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it just, it likes to fill, it likes to fill in for you. Are you seeing that at all? Let me reposition. I'm afraid you can't I hope see. this is a little bit better but anyhow on the on the bolt heads 
Just touch them. Okay? All the creases and stuff. You can see where that's starting to add a little depth. And because it's so thin, it's going to find its path of least resistance and take off. All right. It already looks a thousand times better in my never-to-be-humble opinion. Let's go ahead and rotate the, the sprocket. Let's get the areas that we didn't touch yet. And we can touch them. Now, if you overdo it like that one, sorry, I had to go get a Q-tip. Let's go get you a Q-tip and touch it. All right, and that'll remove the excess and then let it go. No need to do anything else. Same thing with the road wheels. All of the road wheels, they're a little bit easier. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and I don't know, can you see that camera angle? You can't see that, can you? Well, that sucks. How can I do this so you can see this? The reason I'm doing it with the vehicle sitting upright is because I want gravity to do its thing. And I'm just going to do it. I can't see what I'm doing. But you'll notice right now that the fluid's moving inside the road wheel. Okay? And I'm just going to turn that road wheel a little bit. And let it, the capillary action continue to do its thing. I'm going to touch over here. A little bit more. Here, let's do it like this. Now you can see it moving. All right, that gives me an instant shadow. I'm going to come in here, a little swipe right there. I'm going to get this little back area because it's a little bit detailed. And then I'm going to touch each individual bolt. All right. I'm get that little back ground area. So, we're just going to let that sit. And if you put too much fluid in there, just rotate the wheel. But what I like about this is that because of the, uh, it's, I don't know what it's made of. Uh, it is a flammable stuff, so it does have some solvents in it. Uh, the solvents spread in the paint as well. So it creates a shadow. Now, when these two things dry, all you have to do is go back, if you want to, is to do some light dry brushing on the uh, road wheels just to make some of those highlights pop out. But this shadow works great. Now, if this is not dark enough for you, let that dry. All right. And then you can come back in, add a little bit more. And darken that corner up. And you can see how that's flowing. All right. Do that for all the road wheels. Takes no time at all. So for normal road wheels on a 35th scale, I have a spare road wheel here. And I believe that's one of the older M60 uh, road wheels because it has the gussets in there. Normally, I would prime this part with uh, the surface primer right here from Vallejo. All right. It's already, it's already thin enough to run it through the, uh, the airbrush. But... For the demonstration purposes, I'm not going to do that. So I've got some, uh, let's see here. I've got U.S. Desert Armor Model Air. Keep my airbrush here. The pump's down here. Right now, I can tell you there's no air flowing through this. Wow. I doubt you can see it. 
That's what happens when you do a crappy cleaning job. There's paint stuck in there. Hang on a minute, let me clean my brush. Cause I'm a loser. All right, I think we're back in business. Maybe. Yep. You see what I'm doing here? Oh, this paint's already thinned down. For grins and giggles. All right, we got a paint job on there. I don't screw around with freaking uh, masks and all that business. And I hate doing road wheels. I've seen a guy do this online. I'm like, dude, that's freaking genius. All right, let's let that dry for a minute. If you notice, I keep all, this is a really stupid uh, setup I have here, but until I run some electricity, um, it is what it is. I've got my mixer down there, my hair dryer, everything's ready to go. I'm trying to do a demo, man, what'd you expect? Perfection? Uh-uh. I love acrylic paints. I love them. They dry quick. So here's the deal. Get all your road wheels painted. I don't care if you cut them and clean them first, which is fine. And <clears throat> get your little toothpick mount or whatever, or whatever you want to do. I don't give it. I don't care. Okay. But you're going to get in here. Can you see that? And we're just going to touch that corner. All right. And this stuff... It's going to fill in and give us the perfect edge. All right, all the way around. And we're just going to let it sit that dry. Use this product to your advantage. Are you tracking? Let's flip it over. Do the same thing. Just touch that rubber. That looks awesome. Now we're just gonna let that dry. I like this tire black because it's not black. It's kind of, I put too much on the thing there, but it's a little bit gray. But anyhow, um, and I'm hoping I can zoom in on the film here. Well, you'll notice that your black edge is already there, right? So when you go in to fill up, you don't have to be super careful, all right? I probably should use a, a finer brush. Looks like some of the some of the black is still damp. But you get a perfect edge every time. Every time. All right, same thing with the back. Because that way you're not worried about that edge too much because you're sort of painting away from it. And uh, you don't need a mask. I think you, sp you probably spend more time putting a mask on than you do actually getting it painted. 
okay? Nice clean edge. Then you just double back, do your surface. Too bad this wasn't one sixteenth scale. I put it on the uh, other vehicle that I'm working on. That's pretty much it, folks. All right. And then um, if you want to get excited, because we all want to get excited, maybe you're doing a desert scene. Get some uh, brown accent color. There's actually a darker brown that I have. Let's try the darker brown. Yeah, here's the dark brown. See? All right, let's put that one up. And then we're just going to go in there. And we're going to do the, you know, the thing. Now we have depth. We're gonna let that dry, and then you can go over it with an air, or not an airbrush, but a dry brush. And there's some really cool dry brushes. You wanna use something like this. You don't wanna use a regular brush, okay? Get them wet, get all the water off, tap your color, get all the paint off that you can as much as possible, and then lightly, lightly touch your part. So that's it. That's how I do road wheels, and uh, it's fast, it's effective, and um, yeah, you don't have to think about it. One sixteenth, one thirty fifth. Ease of application means everything to me, and uh, it'll speed up your game. Anyhow, we'll go back over here and we'll paint the rubber on these things because they're way too shiny. I mean, a factory new road wheel, yeah, I get it. <laughs> not for something that's been in a motor pool a while all right folks thanks for watching i appreciate it i hope you enjoyed this if it bored the hell out of you then i'm sorry send it to somebody else that uh maybe could use the tip otherwise i love you guys thank you for subscribing and please share the channel subscribe hit that subscribe button do the little bell thingy so you get notifications um, <clears throat> when a new one comes out. So tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to wrap up Tim's dump truck. And that's just going to be about, you know, putting on decals and stuff. So uh, that's it. Have a good night. Now get out there and work on your models.